Hey friends, it's Tara with Sweet Country Glam. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Cricut Joy. Super excited, I've been staring at this box all week since it was delivered. Well, let's get started. I ordered my Cricut Joy, but then I decided I wanted to have a couple of things to play with, so I was able to get these awesome things on a discount because when you have Cricut access and you get the Premier Access plan, uh, you get a lot of great discounts and exclusive deals uh, that not many people usually get. So make sure you see the link in the description for that Cricut access, okay? Now I got my smart vinyl. One says permanent and one says removable vinyl. Um, I was looking at the product itself and it doesn't really specify why one is removable and one is permanent. So these are gonna be your metallic colors and these are just some really pretty springtime colors. So you could use these for like a Mother's Day gift. There's some really pretty green ones in here that you can use for uh, possibly St. Patrick's Day. We got the mint and the teal. And this also comes with lavender, petal, and coral. So really pretty sampler set. Okay, so there's your vinyl choices. There's a plethora of other colors, so you just gotta look on Cricut.com. And again, we'll have the links in the description so that you can go ahead and get these purchased. Another thing that I grabbed was this awesome thing. This is the card mat. And this is where you can go ahead and place your different types of cards. And you can get card samplers off of Cricut and uh, they'll have different colors and you can go ahead and just feed this through the machine so it holds that in place. We just need to open it up and start playing with it already. You can see the dimensions here. Now it has one, two, three step-by-step -step procedures. It'll show you the dimensions for like a three by four, a four by five, and then it looks like a five by six here. So it has the little grid line measurements here on the mat. Okay, and what's really nice is that this little pocket guy, I'm gonna assume that you're gonna be putting your other half of your card inside there so that this is on top. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my Cricut tools. It's nice, it acts as a knife. This would be really nice. It's a little bit easier to take this to work and bring it into the classroom, let the kids be able to use it for a project and whatnot. So I think that would be one of the great reasons and great bonuses of having it. Okay, so that's just one of my perks, I would say. So when you open it, you're gonna get the little open me envelope and you have the little get started. And it actually comes with this little adhesive mat and then it's gonna come with some deluxe samples. So I have my little, we have a little piece of vinyl here, smart vinyl permanent in this really cool silver metallic. And then we have this really pretty sky blue card. And then it's also gonna come with a fine point pen. I'll show you that in just a moment. It tells you where to go and get your Cricut set up. And then it also says you're going to have your blade and then that really cool smart permanent vinyl that I just showed you. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's take the machine out of the box here. It's a little heavier than I thought it was gonna be. This weighs a pretty good chunk there. And then at the bottom, you're gonna find your pen and your power cord. And that is it. So I'll go ahead and put it to the side. So you can see super cute. Okay, and then where the mat feeds out through the back. Now, just so you know, just for full disclosure and transparency, we are affiliated with Cricut. So if there um, are anything specific that you're looking for, you wanna purchase, please see the products, um, the product links in the description because right now we have an awesome offer for a Cricut Air 2. It's uh, $50 off through March 13th. So again, definitely see the link in the description for that so you can get that discount. Now, another thing with this guy is how cute and how compact this is. If you are into craft fairs, uh, that sort of thing, this would be perfect instead of hauling your big Cricut machine to a craft fair, you could bring this little guy. So this would save you some uh, time and hauling, and especially your shoulders if you're gonna try and lug that Cricut. I have lugged my Cricut back and forth to my classroom 
this is something I'm super excited to have with me now because I'm gonna make little uh, graduation cards for my fifth graders going on to sixth grade. So super excited for this. Now, you have your power cord and then your battery pack here. So I wanna go ahead and just line everything up. Pretty self-explanatory. And we will get this plugged in. Don't forget to remove that foam off the pin holder. And this is so cute. These things are so tiny compa compared to our other blades on our Cricut machines. So here's your little blade, okay? And then you have your pin. Now, I'm gonna be very honest with you. One of the cons that I see in this is that everything's different. Um, the blades are different than your Cricut Maker. The pins are different from your Cricut Maker. Uh, so that kind of bums me out a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. But, you know, if I'm gonna have something that I'm gonna use in my classroom and it's just gonna stay there for most of that time, just so that I have something to go to and create, you know, name tags or, you know, my little school jobs that I have or whatever it may be, this is definitely worth, I think, the value of having. Now, if you have a different purpose for what you're wanting to use the Cricut Joy for, great, but I'm just wanting to be very transparent on if it's worth the value. And I would say for me, yes, because of our business and the craft fairs that we do, I definitely think it's a bonus. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna get this plugged in and we will begin. Okay, so now that I got the Cricut Joy plugged in and now we're gonna go ahead and get it linked. Now, one thing I wanna say is that this did not want to connect to my really old MacBook. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it's a dinosaur, so just another thing I'm gonna have to invest in. So if you have an older Mac, I think mine is from 2009. So yeah, I think anything older than nine or 10 years is gonna be outdated for a lot of the new software. Okay, so just a little FYI there. So that's okay because you can get Cricut Design Space and you can use your phone to log into your Cricut Design. So not a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna screen record this on my phone and show you how simple it is that you can use a cell phone or an iPad to still work with any of your machines from Cricut. Okay, so now I'm in the Cricut design space on my phone, and you can see that I'm in the machine selection. I'm gonna just go back. I'm gonna go to my little icon here, and then I'm gonna click uh, machine setup. Okay, and you can hit Cricut Joy. And then it's already plugged in and we are already on Bluetooth. And as you can see, it's going to make sure that you have the latest and greatest feature. So we're gonna hit update. See, super simple. On my phone, easy peasy. You can do this anywhere you have Wi-Fi access. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit reconnect on my phone. Okay, so now it's just telling you that you're registering. You wanna go ahead and double check your account. You are going to be registering this machine and I'm gonna hit register and now your joy is all set and ready to go. So I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna just show you, um, let's see, I'm going to skip this test cut and I'm gonna go straight into the project that I wanted to go ahead and work with you guys. So I'm gonna to go to my iCloud here and I found this awesome SVG from the I will drink coffee here and there, I will drink coffee everywhere. We just had Dr. Seuss week at school last week. And man, I wish I would have had this last week for my teachers. So I thought this would be really fun to write on one of the cards. Um, and this was from newmoody.com. And then what's awesome is that this pray about it, I'm gonna have to show you the spring bundle from fontbundles.com. This is an absolute must have bundle for this time of year. It has so many great things. I'll have to go through and show you that. Be sure to see the link in the description for fontbundles.com. They're an amazing company. I've bought many bundles from them already, so you'll have to check them out. And I also have a link to a free font, so make sure you go to the link in the description so you can download that free font. And I'll have another tutorial on how you upload these images and save fonts to your Cricut system. All right, so we have, I will drink coffee here and there and everywhere. And then I have this from the spring bundle from Font Bundles, the pray about it. So I'm gonna be adding that to my mug. So I'm gonna do one cut with the smart vinyl, okay? And then I'm gonna do one pin drawing with our Cricut Joy pin. 
so you can see how both and how everything works. I don't know. I'm really tempted to try this other stuff, so we may have to do even another project. You can know I'm going to have fun today. All right, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to start with the pin. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off. I'm going to unload this guy right here. That's our... Get him loaded in. And then now you're going to have to get your mat, your little green sticky grip mat. Super cute. Go ahead and peel off its front film. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay the little blue card that it gave us in the pack. And I'm just going to go ahead and line it up on the grid lines. And I'm going to go ahead and slide it in under the tabs. Okay. Make sure it's all lined up. And then I'm going to come back to my phone here. Okay, come back to my phone. So here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and select actions and I'm going to, I want to ungroup these guys. I'm going to get rid of him for right now. And then I'm going to have the, we will drink coffee here and there. We will drink coffee everywhere. So as you can see, we have it ready to go. And it is within the guidelines of the four by six. So I come up here and I make sure I'm in that four by six range. I want to go ahead and center this. Um, I'm not going to center it right yet. Actually, let's go ahead. We're going to work with a mat. So you can see where it's set up there. Now, I want you guys to notice where it's putting my periods at. Unfortunately, I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to go back to my mat. So you want to click on canvas. And what you want to do is now that it's selected, I want you to go to actions. This is a little bit trickier to use instead of seeing your full um, computer screen. So this takes a little bit of uh, practice and just kind of going through the motions with it. But what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and hit weld. And so it's gonna weld everything together in place so it doesn't move around. So let's make sure that that worked. I'm gonna go back over here to work with Matt. Much better. So now everything's welded together and my periods are in the correct place. Otherwise it's gonna think that it's a separate piece that it has to cut and it doesn't understand it has a place and a purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on it. Now you can see the grid lines. Now you can see the red grid lines here. That is your safe zone, so do not go outside that zone. So I'm gonna center this right in the middle here. I could have made this a little bit bigger, but I think this will be perfect for the purpose in which I want it for. Okay, so there we go. Get it all nice and center. And once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. Oh, I'm super excited to see this in motion. So let's go ahead, it's getting connected. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and it's the, I'm gonna insert the card stock. Looks like it's this guy right here. I went to the edit where you see that little measuring tool. So go ahead and hit line type and then that's where you can drop down the box for cut and draw. So like I said, it's a little bit trickier when you're working on your phone because you're not seeing the full screen in front of you. So I'm gonna go back to on mat and then I'm gonna click on the grid lines and then recenter it so it's right where I want it to be. Okay, perfect. Now we're ready to rock and roll and it's gonna go ahead and send it over to the joy. I'm gonna click insert cardstock. Now I have my pin in the clamp and we are ready to go. There we go. There's a sensor. Okay. So it's loading the mat, it's making sure it's aligned, and now I can hit go. Oh, so this is really interesting. There's a little sensor on the right side underneath here um, where it senses the mat and then it loads it for you. Because see, we're so used to the Cricut having its unload and unload up and down arrow button. So you can see here and how the pin is working. All right, friends. Well, that is super fast and easy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and unload the machine. It prompts you on the phone. Look how cute. I'm super excited. Now, I will never have to go and buy a birthday card ever again, an anniversary card, you name it. Honestly, your Cricut Maker, your Cricut Joy, 
this is just really great to have. I think no matter where you're at, if you want to make something and you want to get artsy and craftsy, this is the best way to do it. So how cute is that? So now the next thing we're going to use is this awesome cool guy, our fine point blade. Okay. So roll of thumb, always take out your pin cap, make sure it's on nice and snug and make sure you store it upside down. Okay. Go ahead and get your fine point blade. Drop that in the machine so that it's ready to go. Now you're not gonna need your mat for this next task. So I'm gonna set him aside and we're gonna get our cool shiny metallic uh, permanent smart vinyl out. Okay, now as you can see, it has these little white lines on the side. This is a pretty strong piece of material that's on the back holding it. Um, and so as you can see, it's the width of the machine and it's already sensing it. So it thinks I wanna load it and unload it. So I'm gonna set it there for right now. And then I'm gonna go back to my design space on my phone and I'm gonna set this up so that it'll print, or excuse me, it'll cut, pray about it. And that is one of the SVGs that I found off of my spring bundle font um, set from fontbundles.com. So super excited to get that printed. And then I'm going to adhere that to one of my coffee mugs. So let's go and take a look. Okay, so now we're back and we are on the joy project and i'm gonna go ahead and cut this on that really pretty shimmery permanent vinyl so i'm gonna go ahead and go to make it and we're gonna use without a mat because it's on that smart material and then i want to go ahead and get it centered on the mat and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit cut and then i'm gonna pick out i would say it's gonna be that Smart Vinyl Permanent. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get it loaded to the machine and hit go. And I'm gonna show you the finished product. And now we'll cut and let's see it in action as it cuts. I'll bring you closer so you can take a look. I like how it's staying in the lines. Looks pretty clean so far on the cuts. I have to say I'm pretty impressed that you don't need a mat for the vinyl. Um, I think that's one of the things with a Cricut Maker uh, that takes a little bit longer is just trying to get all your stuff lined up. This is pretty nice that it's already on that paper and it just feeds through. So I would definitely say that that's one of the big pluses about it. Looks like it's really clean so far. N no, uh, no peel ups, nothing getting jammed. Definitely really excited about this one because I'm gonna get ready to add him to the back of my superhero teacher coffee mug here in just a second. All right, so we'll go ahead and unload him. How awesome is that? That came out really great. So now I'm curious to always do the weed test to see how well when I pull back at that 45 degree angle, how easy this is to weed because the less that I gotta pick at this, the better. So I'm just kind of showing you up close. I'm pulling real gently so I don't lift anything else. I feel bad that I'm wasting all that other really pretty silver, but that's okay. But you can see how awesome was that? That took me less than 10 seconds. And then all you gotta do is just get your weeding tool and you can find the link in the description for the tools if you don't have them yet. This guy is my favorite by far. Okay, so then I'm gonna have to go ahead and get rid of weeding these guys right here and all the other inserts. So we'll go ahead and take this little extra off, set him to the side. And I'll go ahead and get the rest of this weeded and get some transfer tape and we're going to get it stuck on my mug. Okay, so I just grabbed out those little pieces that were in the P and the A and the B areas there. And I cut myself some of my strong transfer tape. Now, again, one thing that I always like to do with this transfer tape, because it is super grippy, is I'm gonna run my fingers on it just to kind of um, get rid of that strong part. Otherwise, it is just a pain to peel off certain things. Let me get my, my tool here to get it going. There you go. 
That's always another way to do it. So I'm gonna just run my fingers over it. And I've already eyeballed this. You get really good after a while seeing how big a project is and how big you need it. You don't always need it to go over the entire project if you're really, really crafty with it. So what I do is make sure you set it down in the center. And then again, just the way you peel the vinyl back, you may have to help like my top of my pea didn't quite get on there. There we go. And then just make sure you guide it. And I always bend the piece that it's stuck against back just so that I'm forcing it onto the, the grip. And if anything shifts, you just have your tool handy and you're always able to adjust it. I've had things just get so messed up and I was still able to save it. You just have to be patient. Okay, so didn't take me too long. So there you go, you can see, pray about it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna bow it in the middle. Make sure there's no debris or anything right there. And set it down. Just guide your fingers all the way around. There we go. And then grab, get a corner started. I tell you, this tape is super strong. All right, so here we go. Quick, easy. You can even go ahead and send it through with your initials and customize your mugs. Maybe it's getting stolen at work or whatnot, and then that way you don't know who's taking your coffee in the morning. So we have a vinyl cut of the Smart Vinyl, and then we have using our pins. So again, this was an awesome SVG that I found from New Moody, and this SVG is from the Spring, the spring Pack from fontbundles.com. I will have the links in the description where I found these SVGs so that you're more than welcome to use them. I have many more coming your way from both of these bundle sets and these companies. Super great products and great responsiveness on their emailing. All right, so another project that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that really pretty vinyl that I have here for the Cricut Joy. I have the removable Smart Vinyl and I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and I'm gonna put this our uh, SCG logo in the deer skull in the color called coral. So I'll show you how awesome that turns out after we get ready to make that. And what's nice is it's a smart cut vinyl, so we don't need the mat. So I'm gonna say without the mat, I'm gonna get this bad boy loaded up and I will show you the end result. All right, so here is the finished product. It weeds super quick, super easy, and this is in that uh, removable vinyl, the smart vinyl in coral. And that was from my Hydrina sampler set. So again, you'll be able to see all the links in the description there. Super cute, looking forward. I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put this on. So another great, easy way, took less than two minutes Remember, life is sweet, set some goals, and have a blessed day.